My name is Catherine and I run the Nagambi Library. When Wendy asked if I would speak at your meeting and said that you know us and now we would like to know you, well, I must say I was most humbled. You come to the library for stories, real and imagined, and I thought, well, I am one such story. I have snippets of your stories and I enjoy getting to know my patrons who all have big stories to tell. I've been the Gambies librarian since the Static Library was opened in 2006 and it was a feisty beginning as the boys on the mobile were much loved. So I had big shoes to fill. Over time, I think I've got everyone to embrace the library and me with it. Reading has always been with me from my earliest memories, anywhere, anytime, and it has kept me company and it was my friend. I learned to travel to wondrous worlds, meet and be extraordinary characters and find answers to questions that burned, like how do I make the toffee for the school fate? I ended up in the army due to a bet I made with my twin brother that I wouldn't be accepted, so challenge accepted, and I won. My training was part of the historic last all women's platoons trained at North Head in New South Wales. Uh, women now do their training with the men at Wagga Wagga. I was also one of the first women to carry a rifle in an Anzac Day march in Brisbane in 1986. So after spending time in the Defence Force, meeting my husband, living overseas, having two children and gaining multiple jack of all work skills, because as an army wife, you get to move every two years. I decided it was time I did something that allowed me to share my love of books. I studied for three years in Melbourne and completed my formal qualifications and re received my diploma in 2004. This was a proud moment for me as I had achieved a long awaited goal. I then tried to find working libraries, which I can say was very hard to do. It is quite a popular course to take and it is also one of those jobs that people tend to stay in for a long time, which is rare these days. I did my work experience at the Police Academy in Glen Waverley and it was at the time they were changing all the case files from paper to computer. So luckily for them and me, I was already a proficient typist. I often got in trouble as the cases were fascinating reading and I would get a look and then a harumph from the head librarian to stop reading and keep working. We were still moving every two years and I continued to work as jack of all trades, honing my customer service skills, which I believe are very important to working in the library. I often did night work so that there was always someone home for the children. I probably could still pull a beer and run a snack venue with no problem. I really thought I would never get to work in a library, destined only to be a volunteer. My husband got posted to Pucka Punyal for two year posting and we were still living in Melbourne. So either he had to commute each day or stay in Pucka Punyal for the week. It was long days and exhausting for both of us, but my hat off to him, he did it for nearly a year and it looked like he would be there for longer. So we made the decision to see if we liked living in the country. We found a house in Seymour and after all the travels in our military moving life, we felt the children needed to have some stability and finish their schooling in one place. Mark could work out of Pucka Punyal and I would see if I could make my dream of working in library a reality. I can tell you, I think at that point, I felt like the fella in the Johnny Cash song, I've been everywhere. Pucka Punyal Primary is a lovely school. And of course, as mothers do, we offered to help. Once they knew I was a trained librarian, off to the library I was sent. I spent many happy hours there with the children and the muddle that was the system at the time. I also worked at the Pucka Punyal Base Library, which gave me much needed experience on the computer system that was to be used at Ngambi Library, not that I knew it then. In 2006, I saw an advertisement for the job as librarian at Ngambi. I only applied for it with two days before it closed. Mark was away and I rang him and said, why do it? I won't even get a look in and they'll give it to someone else. He just said that I had to give it a go or I would kick myself for not trying. He was right. 
prior to putting in for the job was why I was feeling so despondent. I had been trying to get work with the Mitchellshire libraries in Wallen, Kilmore, Broadford and Seymour. I couldn't even get casual work. I was either overqualified, underqualified, or it had been filled. And the best one I think was that the money had been reallocated to other work. I was thinking that perhaps it was me. So I dug deep and I went for it. And as usual, when you don't expect to succeed, of course, I got the interview. Now I was both excited and scared that I would muck up the interview. It wasn't going to be easy as the time they chose was 4.30 p.m. Mark was away, so I had to take the children with me. Under fear of death, my eldest son was charged with looking after his sister in the library's children area until I came out. I still remember the roll of his eyes and telling me they would be fine. They were, and we were driving back to Seymour. No hands free or through the car phone then, the phone rings, my daughter answered it and said something like, it's some weird lady on the phone for you, mum. I was thinking it couldn't be the library, I'd not long left there. But it was, and after some confusion, as it was difficult to drive, tell the children to be quiet and answer the phone in a non-hysterical way, that if I wanted it, the job was mine. I think the first week was pretty scary for me as I'd gone from thinking that I would never find a job in a library to running the whole thing. But from the first, the people of Nagambi and Surrounds have been so lovely and forgiving that I find that the time working at the library has flown past so fast. What I love about this job is that you never know what someone will bring you. And yes, I have often had the question of, do you know this book? I read it once a long time ago. It has a red cover or it was somewhere in England and many more requests like these. I especially like to see new patrons that have either not read for a long time or just have now found time to read to challenge my memory to find a reading road that will be the base of their reading. Often dealing with people that are travellers and hearing their stories and helping them connect with families back home via the computers. I have some lovely cards that have been sent to the library over the years, thanking me for the help given or just to say hi, they are back home and that Nagambi was a highlight of their trip. In more recent times, having authors come to visit has been an exciting addition to the library experience. And my very favorite was having the poetry slam here and that one of the poets that we had went on to be a finalist. I hope to do more collaborative projects with the community house, though COVID, has put us all on the back foot. I still look to the future and I hope that we can go on to do great things. Well, this is me and my story and I hope you feel you know me a little more. I will be waiting to greet you all and look forward to seeing my regular patrons and hope that the new ones will give me a try. Thank you again for the privilege of speaking to you all today and I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Thank you.